Good morning and welcome to the October 27th employee message. Thank you all again for watching these on uh, YouTube. We have a Let's Talk that went out for residents today that talks a little about the strategic plan, so I recommend take a look at that one as well if you're interested in what's happening at Westminster Village besides just COVID. Um, it's, it's important to watch those, so again, we're obviously making those available to all of our employees. So COVID um, and where we're at with COVID, Arizona, Maricopa County, and you know the country continue to see an uptick in the number of cases. It's not an alarming number yet, but we watch it closely and really see where that trend is going. The uptick is at this point coming, becoming significant, um, but with the opening of schools and the other businesses and as much travel is happening, we're, again, we're not greatly concerned at this point. We just need to continue doing a lot of what we've been doing. Um, we need to continue to be careful. Holidays coming up, we need to continue to make sure we're wearing our masks, we're, we're social distancing, we're keeping our social circles small. And I know that becomes harder and harder, harder um, the longer we get from the beginning of this. So. But I ask us employees, continue to do that. You know, if you take a risk, make sure it's a good risk. Make sure that you're not going out and putting the rest of the, the campus residents and employees at risk by just doing crazy things. So um, if you're out in the grocery stores and those kinds of places, wear your mask, try to stay away from the larger groups. And do what you've been doing, which is if you do think you have an exposure from a family member or somewhere you've been is get a hold of your supervisor and report it immediately. If you're having any symptoms, get a hold of your supervisor and report it immediately. And we have a pretty good process now. We're getting people back to work quickly, but we're, we're, we're being cautious where we need to be. So again, continue to follow those basic things. Um, what's new and what's, what's just not going away at this point in time? On Monday, we gave employees and residents back to their access to get into the campus from the gates. So the pedestrian gates and the drive-in gate. Employees now have the ability to come through there without having to check in with security. So you've probably noticed the security guard shack is no longer at the front of the building. We think that's a huge win. And again, it's important. Don't, don't use that access except for when you're coming to work, obviously. Um, but we're gonna continue to see those kinds of changes. Um, we do think you know the vaccine is coming soon and we're going to be able to be one of those first places in the country that get the vaccine offered to us. We've already filled out the paperwork with the federal government for the number of vaccines we need for our staff and our residents. We're in the process of um, securing that up with the pharmacy that will come in and provide those vaccines. And we're probably not gonna make that mandatory, but we're gonna highly suggest every employee get the vaccine when it becomes available. Every resident get the vaccine when it becomes available. Um, but again, it becomes a personal choice. Again, our goal is to have the vast majority of people on this campus vaccinated once that becomes available. We're gonna be looking at the symptom check as you come in um, to that main door. And we're gonna probably see that stick around for a while, probably a month or two after the vaccine's here. Although we may at some point make it where it's not a manned um, station and you can check in from your phone, which is coming in and doing the self temperature check with a automated piece of equipment that we ordered. So we'll see that get a little bit easier and eventually we'll be able to come in every door and not have to do the symptom checks every day. But it still makes sense for us to do those at this time. Um, parking, you know, um, one of the changes that I'm gonna be making as COVID kind of goes away and we we learned to live with COVID. Um, the department heads in the past have had parking spaces, and if you employees watch this tonight, you're probably gonna hear this before the department heads here tomorrow, but we're gonna end up not having parking spaces specifically for department heads and directors. Those people have parking spaces because of their tenure here. Um, there's a few people I think that are 25 years and higher that have a parking space. They're gonna continue to have those, but us people like department heads, we're just not gonna go back to having parking spaces. Most of us gave those up early on so that staff that's walking that long distance can park closer to the, the entrance. And again, we're gonna continue that after, after COVID. So um, just look forward to seeing that. So we'll have more parking spaces that are 
say open on them than that say my name or somebody else's name on it. Um, masks and shields, again, I don't see masks going away until, again, maybe a couple of months after COVID. Um, hopefully the shields will go away kind of right when the vaccine happens. So we'll see those kinds of things change. We did have the flu clinic this last week. Um, we didn't get nearly as many people at the flu clinic as we wanted. And I know there was some mix up with uh, advertisements out there, but if you're in the healthcare center or assisted living and you need a flu shot, talk to your manager and they'll get that scheduled. We have some doses available. If you're an independent living you're in, and you have insurance, your insurance will pay for that flu shot. So again, get that flu shot off site. Bring in your um, your receipt and proof of the flu shot, and you can still get the gift card. Again, we we want to know who's who's got those flu shots. Again, it's that herd uh, immunity process. So the more people that have it, the safer our residents are. And again, that will be the same with the vaccine for COVID. The more people that take it, the less chance of passing it to a resident. So again, I really encourage you to get your flu shot when the vaccines come for COVID get your vaccination, and again, we will have that here at no charge for all of our employees. Um, other things happening, and again, just kind of with COVID, I just can't say enough how grateful I am, and I know how grateful the board of directors and residents are for everything our employees have done. Again, we, we've asked you all to, to change your jobs overnight, to take on more responsibilities, to take on different responsibilities, to to park further away in most cases from the door you enter the campus, to wear those masks and the shields and other PPEs. And again, our, our, our team has just done an amazing job and our results have been really good because of the amazing job our team's done. And again, I ask you just, we're not done with this yet. COVID is still here. It's still a danger to our, our residents and our staff we have another month or two to really keep on the top of our game. And again, I ask you guys to, to stay committed to keeping Westminster Village and the Westminster Village family safe. So continue to work hard. And again, I know it's appreciated. We had the board meetings last week and the board is very appreciative of the job our team has done. And again, I talk to residents every day who say exactly the same thing. And I see letters from families of residents, again, just reiterating that same thing of how how blessed the residents are to, to work here with the team of people that are providing services and keeping them safe. So thank you for that. A um, couple of other things happening. Um, again, obviously with COVID, our holiday party is gonna be a little bit different this year. And I know just the, something that went out on Paycom just this week is the employee Thanksgiving um, gift card. So in the past we would give a gift card to fries to all of the employees. This year we're asking you to fill out a form on Paycom, which is gonna get you a turkey, a sack of potatoes, um, a pie, and maybe something else, a bag to put it in. Um, but that way you can have your, your turkey dinner. And again, we're gonna, we're gonna make sure we do that. And again, that's something we wanna do going forward. It's something we talked about two years ago is getting away from the gift cards and getting uh, moving more towards more traditional Thanksgiving dinner. So food service is going to put that together. So again, fill that out on Paycom. I think we already have about 110 people who fill it out. So the vast majority keep doing that. And then sometime in the next two weeks, you're going to see a flyer from probably Megan talking about the holiday party. So obviously we can't bring three or 400 people onto campus to do the holiday party like we've done for as long as I've been here. Um, but what Megan is working on is kind of a drive-through holiday party. So something like the trunk or treat. So if you have kids and you see in the park, so all the people pull their cars up and you do trick or treating in the parking lot, it's gonna be something like that. You're gonna, you're gonna make a reservation to say, yes, I'm coming, I'm bringing my two kids. You're gonna drive around the cul-de-sac, you'll be able to pick up your holiday check, still handed to you by the resident council. You won't be able to get out of your car you're gonna get a, a dinner that you can take home and cook. And if you have your kids or nieces and nephews or grandkids with you in the car, they're still gonna be able to get a toy like they have in the past. 
So it's gonna be a little bit different holiday party, but again, we think that's one of the most important things we do. So we're gonna to continue to do that. And again, we hope that we will still have a great turnout. So look forward to more information on that coming. Um, we're gonna continue with the employee lunches the way we've been doing it. We hope to be able to, again, after the vaccine, get the break rooms back open to where they've been and, and continue to improve on that program. We did about two weeks ago stop doing the daily trainings because we, you know, we are all kind of tired of the daily trainings and felt, you know, our, our staff and our managers were educated on COVID. Um, we don't need to do a daily, but we are going to continue to do the weekly and we'll probably continue to see that well past COVID. So those weekly trainings will probably continue to be around. And again, it, sometimes it'll be actual technical skills training, but Many times it'll just be the communication so that you're hearing what the residents are hearing and the board is hearing and the families are hearing because we think that's important. We're gonna continue to do the Let's Talks at least for the foreseeable future. And again, those are usually made available to the employees if you go to the YouTube page um, and watch that. There's, there's good information and again, it's, it's directed mostly to the residents, but it's also great that residents are watching that, I mean, employees are watching that and seeing what residents are hearing. And then um, one of the things we're gonna continue is again, continuing to look at the employee recognition programs. We wanna be able to get back to a true in-person pat on the back. Um, the contests we've been doing for the gift cards, again, reading those nominations of the employees and then from the employees of the managers just incredible. Again, they, they make your day when you read such positive information about the employees from the managers and about the managers from the employees. So we're going to continue to be able to do some of those and be able to, you know, make some people really happy with a thousand dollar gift card and some of that kind of stuff. So again, just keep looking forward. We'll have another message out in the next week or two um, directed at employees with what's happening. And again, all I can say is I really appreciate all the hard work everybody does to keep the Westminster Village family safe and thank you very much.